Hi, this is Ben with racegraphics.com and we're continuing on our series of tutorials here on the racegraphics.com online race car designer and what we're going to talk about right now is the lettering tool feature so the lettering tool will basically let you design whatever lettering you want you know you can type text in and you've got a bunch of effects you can use and it's up to you how you want it to appear on your car or you can really put it on just about anything that vinyl will stick to including a trailer or a window um, but right now we're just set up to show it on our car designer so what I'm gonna do is continue on where I left off in the last tutorial which was the race number kits but uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of text you could put on a car you could put a sponsor name you could put your name you could put uh, the driver's name uh, there's just a ton of reasons why you put lettering on the car, but uh, what we're going to do on right off the bat here, we're going to do something that's really common. You see the driver's last name on the bottom of the car, so let's come in here and I'm just going to type a uh, random last name here. Yeah, I'm going to make it italic, and we can pick a font but it's a little bit easier if we just click view fonts because then we can kind of browse through them here and I kinda of like this Estera font that's that's pretty cool looks like a fast font so we'll click that and pretty self-explanatory here you know you can pick the color you want the difference is on this tool versus our number kit tool is our number kit tool is all printed everything is printed on there you know, you might see Chrome on the number kit tool. The Chrome is a printed Chrome, though. It is not a flashy, shiny Chrome. The glitter holographic vinyl, it's it's printed. The carbon fiber, it's printed. Everything's printed on one layer of vinyl and then laminated, just like we print a full race wrap. Now, the advantage to that is it's simpler to produce. It's quicker to produce. We can charge less and it's easier to install because it's on air release vinyl. Now when you're in this tool you can see this drop down will be different. It said printed over here on the number kit tool but here it's actually saying you know you can pick fluorescent orange on here and fluorescent yellow and we'll use actual fluorescent orange vinyl. We'll use reflective red or reflective white. So that restriction has been lifted on this tool and we'll figure it up you know whatever the price is and we'll make it like that. We'll lay up the layers if we need to um, but we'd rather print it if we can print it and do it in one layer we will so if you print if you pick green and you come in here and you pick a an outline of black we're gonna print that that won't be that won't be a layered cut vinyl decal it will be a printed decal in one layer and there's nothing wrong with that that's really the superior way to do it it's gonna be easier for you to install so uh, I would like to show a neat feature here. I, I want to uncheck rounded corners. Not all fonts you can do this. And I also want to click the inner bevel effect. The inner bevel adds this neat shadowing effect to the graphic. And when you do that, that means it has to be printed because you can't put that effect on a cut vinyl film. But it looks pretty cool though when you add it to a graphic. And I also want to do a gradient. Let's do let's do that green down to yellow so let's go ahead and hit done and we'll put the name right there at the bottom and hit done and let's go to the right side and we'll click in and hit design library and done and we'll just add it to the other side the same way and we'll click done so just like that we added the text uh, that was real easy so we'll go to the top and we can do the same thing we can come up here and we can hit design library and we'll click it and it's a little bit too big we'll just scale it down
and we can even overlap it a little bit and give it kind of a neat look. And there's your text. And you also might even want it on the rear of the car. We can just come in here and click it again. And what you might want to do, you might want to make it fill the whole width. And you can see it. It's not really stretching. It's staying proportional. Well, that's a that's a feature we haven't added in here yet, where you can stretch it and unlock the proportion. So what you'd have to do is hit Edit and uncheck Maintain Proportion. And let's make it about 4 inches tall. And let's hit Done. So now it's stretched it up and it fits in here a little bit better. So then we'll hit done. And we can press continue and look at our proof. And like I've said on all the videos, you need to check your sizes. And if we go down, you know, the one on the left side is 80 inches by 9.3. If that fits your car, then you can leave it the same. If it doesn't fit your car, you need to hit specify size. And you need to type in the size that fits your car. And because that's exactly what we'll produce, the size shown right here.